Hey there, my friend. How you doing? It's Chris and Gia here from ChrisandGia.com. And in this very exciting episode, we're talking about some business ideas for my stay-at-home moms, all right? Yeah, are you a stay-at-home mom or are you looking to become a stay-at-home mom and thinking about, hmm, what can I do to stay to, to make a little extra cash while I'm home so I can stay with my little ones and at the same time be satisfied with it, right? So if that's the case, hey, stick around in this video. I'm going to share with you my top 10, top 10 business ideas for stay-at-home moms, how you can make money online as a stay-at-home mom and be either part-time cash or either, even a full-time income, all right? So stay to the end because I'm going to reveal my number one best recommendation from all my moms out there, all right? If you haven't already, hey, before we get started, definitely give this video a like, all right? Definitely subscribe to the channel so you can be notified whenever I release new videos on for my stay-at-home moms and business ideas, marketing strategies, and just ways to make money online, all right? All right, so we're just going to go ahead and get started, all right, with my top 10 business ideas for all my stay-at-home moms, right? So I came up with all this because, hey... Like you, probably, I have a wife at home and we have little ones and she's been thinking about, you know, the idea of being able to stay with them and not so much have to go back to work and she's a school teacher and so she has to work with other kids and so it's kind of a shame that she spends so much time with other kids but she can't spend as much time she wants with her kids. So we were talking about it and I came up with a few ideas and I said, you know what, hey, let's go ahead and share this with all my moms out there such as yourself so you can maybe glean some potential ideas and what's out there, all right? So we're going to get started. My top 10, number 10 is selling crafts and jewelry online. So if you are a kind of person that's into, you know, crafts and creative stuff and making trinkets and making, um, you know, arts and crafts and stuff like that, and you actually sell them and you actually enjoy doing them, that's something you could actually do and make some pretty good money online. One of the best ways I know how to do it is with this website service with Amazon. Amazon has a service called Amazon Handmade. And it's actually it's actually pretty awesome, right? <laughs> Essentially, what they do is they've created a, a whole platform, an online store for anyone who is a, a crafter. So if you have, if you make things and you enjoy making things like jewelry, um, necklaces, um, crafts, little trinkets, um, you know, maybe you have little little uh furniture items that you make little decorations here and there things like that and you make anything like that you're an artisan you're a handcrafter then amazon handmade is a good option for you you just simply come onto this website here amazon handmade and you get started you apply um because they don't take everybody so you have to apply make sure you're actually selling um handmade goods and stuff like that and uh, it's pretty much just an online store where you can set up all your stuff on there and just direct people over there to Amazon, which is, you know, pretty much has tons of traffic going to their site anyway. So you don't have to worry about having to do payments and uh, setting up your shop online. They do all those things for you and you can make pretty good, uh, pretty good change. So you literally just come on here and register, create your profile. Um, set up your shop or however way you want to with your brand and then you literally just start selling and, and promoting these links, promoting uh, your store wherever you wherever you'd want to on social media to your friends and family. So so if you are that type of person, then that's probably a pretty good option for you to consider. Number nine is you can, as a stay-at-home mom, another business idea you can consider is selling books online, um, especially eBooks. Um, that's a, it's a really hot thing right now. So if you like writing, you can actually put together topics and things that like you may already know about and put them in nice little eBooks that people would want to know about, people will want to read and, and check out. So especially if you're knowledgeable about something that you that you really are passionate about. And one of the best places you can do that is coming to Amazon. <laughs> Once again, you know, Amazon is taking over everything, by the way. <laughs> and they have a nice little setup here with Kindle Direct Publishing where you can basically publish, self-publish your own eBooks and paperback stuff for free using their, their platform here. It's really great because it kind of cuts out the middleman between you and getting your books into the, to the marketplace and your readers. So you don't have to worry about all the publishers and all those different things that they take you through. You can literally just create content 
and just get that get that get it out there. Amazon once again has a lot of good traffic and can bring people there and find it. But at the same time, you can share it with friends and family, make some good money here. Apparently, you can earn up to seventy percent royalties on all your sales, which is pretty good. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot. Just simply sign up and, and get started. Um, another idea someone can't someone mentioned that I thought was really cool. Um, he he said that you know even if you don't know how to write and you think this is a great idea, you can literally on the internet hire people that are ghostwriters. So you simply just create the content. You create the notes for maybe a question that people are asking and then send this stuff to the uh, ghostwriter and they can write it up for you and create your whole ebook for you right there and then you just sell it on Amazon Kindle here. So just an idea, something to consider. And basically there's really there's so many ideas. There's plenty of ways for you to make money on uh, make money from online by staying at home. So this is just one. All right. Number eight in our top ten list of home business ideas for stay at home moms is you can do hair, makeup and nails from home. You know, um, this is actually a big one because, you know, as a guy, I wouldn't have known so much about it. But having been with my wife for almost 10 years now, um, hair is a really big deal. And I'm sure if you're a mom, you know this already. So if you, <laughs> I mean, you can make some pretty decent money by having people come over to your home, women that you know who maybe need their hair done, maybe they need some makeup done, nails done. And because maybe you're just closer and more homier than the, than the shops around and uh, maybe you have better pricing, they come to you or you maybe you just do better work. They'll come to you. You can do their hair and do all that kind of stuff from the comfort of your own home. Of course, it gives you a lot of leverage in terms of time and you can set your hours in however way you want it. Um, there's a really nice app that I know of called Style C that you can kind of get on. So if you're into it, you a professional barber, a beautician or whatever, you know, a lot of them set, set shop here and then they'll market and promote themselves on Instagram, for example, where um, a lot of people, they'll get a lot of clients. They can come here, book appointments and then just come find you. It's a really, really good way, great way to make some money, um, make some money from home, especially if you're good at good at it, because it, women pay a lot for hair. I mean, it's shocking to me. So you can make some really good money, especially if people get to know how good you are. Now, if you don't know how to do these things, you can take some classes. I mean, there's some classes you can take online around your area. You just look them up about how to do nails, how to do hair, and just get your skills up and then just start promoting. So that's another thing. Also, one thing too, though, you want if you're just if you just want to kind of be careful too with some of the licensing. So if you're doing it, don't um, you know look up what kind of licenses you might need or certifications. There's some things out there, but I think you can probably get away with just doing it as long as you're not just blasting it out there that you're a professional. Just kind of say that you do it, and people will find you, and you know friends and family share information, so stuff like that. So top ten. That's that's why it's number eight because it can make a lot of money. But there's probably some stuff about it, right, that makes it tough for you to be able to dive, really dive into it as a professional. But you can if you want to. So number seven is for stay-at-home business ideas from my uh, for my stay-at-home moms is being a social media consultant. This is really, really a good one because well, there's a lot of businesses that are out there that need help with doing their social media. And they don't have time or they don't have the want to to try to figure it out, but even though they know they should be on social media because that's where most of their clients and their audience is. And so they would love to have someone like you. If you know how to do social media on Facebook, you know how to, to, to take a brand and make it more into the conversation and make it more of a social thing and more of a cocktail party type thing on the social media versus so much salesy sales sales. If you know how to do that, do that transition, you're you have a valuable skill set that you can market yourself. I mean you can literally walk outside and just start talking to some of your local businesses and start telling them, hey, I can help you with your social media marketing. Are you on Facebook? You know, if you're on your on Instagram. You know, you're on Twitter. I can help you do that and, and process all those things for you. And they will pay you good money for that because they don't want to do it. even though, and, and they know they have to do it. So it's a really good opportunity. But also, if you're, if you're good at Facebook ads and you can do advertisements, oh my goodness, that's another thing that you can get paid really, really well. So one, a, a nice little a tool that you want to probably use is Buffer. And another one is called Hootsuite. Basically, there's social media um, software programs that allow you to automate 
your posts so that you are not on your computer posting everything all the time at the same time. You can literally take all the posts and content that you want to post on all your social media profiles and have it just basically queued up so that they go out right when you want them and they can be re-syndicated and re-queued up and there's a whole way to set it up so that it's literally on autopilot so that you never have to come back to it unless you want to update your content. So it's something you definitely want to take a look at. Buffer and Hootsuite is the other one. So that is number seven for your stay-at-home business ideas. Number six is freelancing gigs, right? So think about it. If you have skills, if you have skills, there are people who want you. There are people who need you, okay? You're definitely valuable. And as a stay-at-home mom, you can offer them a whole bunch of extra little perks because you have the time and flexibility and, you know, which is awesome. So if you have skill sets in like, you know, in website development, in graphic design, in blogging, in, in writing. I mean, these are in demand. These are in demand. And so one of the best places you can go to to get yourself found is Fiverr. Fiverr is a nice little website where pretty much is a bunch of freelancers who are marketing themselves in terms of their skill sets. And people go here to try to find people to help them do work. So if you're into graphic design or you can do digital marketing or you can do writing or you can do video editing, you music, programming, business, or you just can do fun and lifestyle relationship advice, for example, right? I mean, there's all kinds of things you can offer. If you're good at it, there's someone looking for it. You can offer your services right here on Fiverr. So you just come on here and take a look at it. They got the whole thing set up here. You can literally set up your shop, do your payments, do your communication with all the prospects and your clients, and pretty much everything is done on the Fiverr platform. So it's another place to look at. Another one that is uh, another place that you can go to is Upwork. Upwork is just another place for freelancers. It tends to be a little bit more higher scale quality of talent so you can literally come here and sign up create your profile and people from all over the world will come find you if they're looking for web development mobile design writing you know customer service marketing accounting shoot whatever you know you literally you can take your skill sets that you've had from when you were working whatever job you were working and I'm sure there's a way for you to like turn it around and monetize that through your own through your own brand on these freelancing websites all right so that is number six for my stay-at-home business ideas for stay-at-home moms all right number five virtual assistant okay so it kind of goes along with the last one we talked about but man a virtual assistant is awesome so let's say for example you say Chris well I don't know how to do graphic design I don't know how to do you know web development and create websites and you know video editing and all that type of stuff well that's cool you know can, are you good at following instructions are you good at like just doing the things that someone tells you to do? Well, if you are, <laughs> then you're perfect as a virtual assistant, right? Because that's, there's a lot of businesses out there that need help. A lot of online businesses that need help. They're doing all the work and they need someone to help them do the work. And all if you're just good at following instructions, then... You know, you can do that. I mean, it can be things like helping them um, edit their blog posts or uh, helping them create letting planning pages and, and, and um, lead pages. It could be them, you know, you helping them create and edit their email copy or maybe customer service. There's a ton of things that all, they'll show you exactly what to do. And if you have to be the kind of person that knows how to follow instructions, right, and knows how to critically think and get things done. And then if you do have a problem, you quickly ask questions to get it solved and you can get and get things moving. So if you're a high motivated type of person, get things done type of person, virtual assistant is a virtual assistant is a really, really good opportunity, a really good thing for you to think about. So, I mean, once again, you can come to Upwork and really check out and see, create your profile and just let people know that your services are available. If you look at it, right, just here in the U.S., people are earning pretty good money. I mean, this chick learned 7000 She's earning $400 already. This person has earned eight grand. Just being a virtual assistant and just doing what someone tells them to do. This person's earned thirty thousand dollars and is a rising talent right i mean if you i mean none of this is really a whole lot of skill sets in my opinion it's just being able to just get things done so this is definitely something you might want to check out as a really good um stay at home home business idea for a stay at home moms all right number four blogging all right so blogging is really one of the best 
opportunities and best ways to make money online, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom or anybody for that matter. I mean, I know people who are working full-time, including myself, who blog and make to make money online, all right? So blogging works just by creating a website. You know, you create a website, you get it, you get the hosting, you get the domain, and then you basically start talking about whatever you want to talk about, whatever interests you, because whatever you interest, that whatever uh, interest you have and that you want to talk about, there's somebody who wants to hear you. And when you do that, you create a following, you create an influence. And once you've done that, you can basically start making money by by promoting different products and different services around what you're talking about. So when it comes to blogging, one of the best things about it is that, once again, you can control the content that you have on your site and you can make a lot of good money doing it. So here's my blog, right, that I have. And on this rule, on this blog post, I start talking about different ways you can get traffic to your website. And then, you know, you make money by promoting different things on the side here. You can promote your own courses. You can promote different affiliates links and websites here to make extra money. You can promote, you can use this to create an email list, right? You can build your email list, which then you can turn around and start promoting even more to, right? So it is a lot of different opportunities by creating your blog. It gives you, blogging is one of those things that gives you like a long-term asset that you can use to make money with and, and take advantage of for a long time, for a very long time. And one of this blog is one of the few things that you own on the internet that is yours and nobody can ever take away from you. So it's something to definitely consider in the long term. And if you're struggling, if you're just wondering like, hey, right, Chris, well, that, that sounds awesome, but like it sounds like a lot of work just to get a blog set up. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below this video where you can get started with a blog literally by just one, two, three clicks and you have a blog set up almost instantly. It's pretty much what I've used, what I'm using as well. So it's a great program that will de definitely help you with that if you're in the market of looking not looking about getting started with the blog. So that was number four for our stay-at-home home business ideas for stay-at-home moms. All right. Number three, network marketing. Okay. So you've probably heard of network marketing, also known as multi-level marketing. Essentially, what network marketing is is you being partnered up with another company. The reason why I like it is because you don't have to worry about having to create a product or having to you know, do the distribution or having to do accounting and payment and things like that and sending your product and doing the research. You don't have to worry about all that stuff with a network marketing type gig because what happens is essentially it's a partnership between you and another company. So they provide the products and the services and all the stuff that goes around the business that typically would be a headache and all you do is just do the promotion and marketing right so you can partner up with a company and the way it works is whatever product or service you promote whenever you make a sale on that product the company will take that sale and then give you a portion of that sale to you in the form of a commission in addition what also makes network marketing really interesting and genius is that your customers can also promote the product and service for you as well. And so what they decide to do to promote with you as well, they will become partners or distributors as well in your team. And then whenever they make a sale, the company would take a portion of it, give them a, a commission percentage of it to them, and you will also get a percentage that flows back up to you. And that's what makes network marketing so genius. Now you may have heard of it. It's really it's a it's a, it's a, it's a business model that a lot of a lot of stay at home moms use. In fact, I believe about eighty to ninety percent of the entire industry is mostly women. And so the whole idea is you can stay at home, become part of a network marketing company. You'll be trained and learn how to learn how to create create. Uh, the, the parties and the different ways to share their product and services to other to to your friends and family. Of course, it requires quite a bit of work and training, so it's not something that can take off just immediately. But you can start making some pretty good extra change. But it does require work. Some of the common ones you've probably heard of is like Mary Kay, you know, Beachbody, Herbalife. Those are some of the common companies. 
right? So if you just come online here and see, you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of talk about it. One of the things you will notice is that there's a lot of people who are not fans of network marketing. And that's because most people don't understand the whole ins and outs for, uh, of it. And it does have its negative aspect, just like mostly all of the other opportunities that we've mentioned here. So you just want to do your research and do your homework and do your understanding. This channel, on my channel, I do put a lot of content around the whole business model so you can kind of understand what you will expect and this is exactly the type of work that will be required. But there is, like I said, it's one of those things you put a lot of work into and it doesn't, it's not going to pay you a whole lot in the, in the beginning, but it has potential depending on the workload, work process you put into it to pay you and even go from a part-time to a full-time income. So check out that link. I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description of the video on some of the, uh, some ex extra information that will help you decide on which network marketing company is best for you. And in fact, if the network marketing is even the right fit for you. All right. So number two for stay at home business ideas for my stay at home moms is becoming a YouTube influencer. Okay. Let me tell you, YouTube is probably the most dynamic tool we have available to us right now. Video is one of the best ways to engage people. YouTube is growing to the point where at some point they're thinking it will become the number one search engine, period, even over Google itself. So YouTube is huge and you're going, you've, I've, you've seen it. Lots of people who are making making really good money on YouTube with hundreds to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And YouTube gets billions of views every month. So it's definitely some place, a place that you want to take a look at. Now, with YouTube being a YouTube influencer, it's one of those, this is the reason why it's number two. And because it's not going to make you a whole lot of money in the beginning, but on the long term, in the long term perspective, if you stick with it and create an influencing profile on YouTube, you can make a long term income. All right. So you're going to notice that that is a thing for some of these top four, top three. There is a long term potential for full-time income with these opportunities, all right? So with YouTube, you can see that there is a ton of people on here talking about a lot of different stuff, right? And they're posting videos about different content. So really think about it as a stay-at-home mom, you literally can just share your lifestyle. Becoming an influencer just means sharing your lifestyle and sharing who you are and what you're passionate about, okay? And you can do that just in many different ways. Just Take out a video, start shooting about your interactions with being a mom at home and your kids and, you know, doing uh, the daycare. Maybe you're doing laundry or doing, you know, making meals. It's like there is a, so much that you can share. Now, if you start talking to me about saying, well, Chris, I don't think anybody's going to care. And I'm going to tell you to stop it right now. All right. Because there is somebody out there who cares. There's somebody out there who cares about what you're talking about and who you are, right? You just have to have the confidence to start sharing, right? You can't be like Beyonce and want to be able to make a good, whole lot of good money, but not like let anybody into your personal life. You know, you know that works for her, but that's not going to work for you, right? One of the things about social media is that you got to be able to let people into your lifestyle just a little bit so they can see a little bit of who you are and what value you bring. And just, you know, just people want to know that is the reality that we live in, reality TV shows. That's why those things work. So don't be afraid to come on here and on YouTube. Start create your channel and start creating your reality so that your reality TV show so that people can see. Or you simply just have to come up here, right here, where it says, you know, upload a video. And you can literally just go here and just upload video on your channel, create a channel, and start uploading some video content. All right. That's a great way for a stay at home mom to make money online. Um, and a great stay-at-home business idea. Let me give you an example that I found that I thought was amazing. There's this chick here. Her name is Haley Page, all right? Her, she's got a page here. It's called Motherhood, Beauty, Lifestyle, right? What is she sharing? She's just sharing her life. I want you to notice something. You see this right here? 120,000 subscribers. That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This woman has 120,000 people who want to see her life, who are interested in what she's talking about. And look what she's talking about, mind you, okay? She's talking about like postpartum, right? What happened her, uh, when she gave, delivered her child, right? Emergency C-section. She's actually sharing this, right? Pregnancy updates, right? My wife took pictures of herself during doing exactly this right here every week or so during the pregnancy. Well, she took those pictures and I don't know where they are. This chick took these pictures and created videos on it and she's getting 16,000, 25,000 people watching them for her videos, right? I mean, she's talking about baby essentials. This is how she makes money, by the way, just sharing what she's using and putting affiliate links out there, which we're going to talk about real soon. Her weekly pregnancy updates, cleaning, her vlog that she has, how to become a blogger. I mean, 
Are you getting the point? There is very these, this is a perfect opportunity for you as a stay-at-home mom to create an influence on YouTube and start making money online. It's a great business idea, okay? And then now for number one, the number one stay-at-home business idea for my stay-at-home moms is affiliate marketing. Why do I love affiliate marketing so much? Let me explain. Affiliate marketing is essentially the same model as network marketing, right? All it is is you partnering up with a particular company that's providing some product or service and you go out there and you promote. If someone clicks on a link that is that is your link, affiliated with your link, that goes to a product with the company and buys that product, the company will then take the, the what they made and take a portion of it and give it to you in the form of commission. That can be it can range from 10%, 25%, 50%, 50%, sometimes even a hundred percent commissions on a sale. All right. And so the difference between this as an affiliate marketing and network marketing is that you don't build, you can't build a team around it. So your customers cannot join you in the part in the whole thing and build an organization. So you don't get residuals from, from your team. So that's the only thing that sucks about it. But I like affiliate marketing as the number one strategy because it's a very simple model, a very easy way for people to get started, for anyone to get started to make money online. So if you're a stay-at-home mom looking for thinking of business ideas, this is by far your best opportunity. So you can go to sites like ClickBank, for example, where they house all kinds of products. I mean, everything. Think about what you're into, what you want to brand yourself about, what you like to talk about, what you're passionate, and there is definitely a product that can that can go around that. Right, that you can use to promote around it. So you can come here and just figure out which ones you want, figure out a product that looks good to you that you like, and all these different categories, and you can start promoting it. This is the reason why being a YouTube, the influencer, having being a blogger, and all these different things that I, we mentioned before will work and is in your advantage to do first because you're building the audience because you really can't sell stuff if you don't have an audience to sell to right <laughs> so this is another that's this is not an, uh, an option another one is amazon associates basically their amazon's affiliate program you simply join and you create your link on everything that anything that anything that amazon sells which is pretty much almost everything on the planet right now right and then you advertise it and promote it wherever you are if you're a blogger on your on your on your on your YouTube, wherever, and you start earning, earning up to 10% in affiliate commissions on everything that you sell, right? So that is my number one way for making money for a stay-at-home mom is through affiliate marketing. So that's it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed it right there, all right? That right there is, some, is my top 10 business ideas for stay-at-home moms, all right? How you how you can start making money right now and uh, not have to leave your, leave your little ones, all right? And, you know, start building it up. Now, some of these, like I said, the top four, so it will take some time. So maybe you start, you're working a little bit. Maybe you're working part-time at your job and you start putting it together. Or you combine some of the earlier top, uh, strategies like being becoming a VA virtual assistant with some of the uh, uh, blogging and vlogging and going from there. So there's all kinds of things. The creativity is really just lies into you. The the options and and, and what's possible is just unlimited. It's just up to you. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, definitely give this video a like. All right. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And oh, by the way, if you're looking for the my number one recommendation for stay at home moms and how to make money online, the one that's going to work the best for you, and I feel like it's the absolute best. It's worked for me. Hey, check out the link in the description of the video, all right? Click on there so you can get more information on that, and that will take you to where you have to go next, all right? So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next exciting episode, this video has been on 10, top 10 business ideas for stay-at-home moms, how to make money online for stay-at-home moms, all right? Be blessed. Stay hungry out there, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.